But what's up good people, uh, I'm going to take you through a little day in the life while I'm at work. So what I do every day even when I'm at work because you know, I can't really get much out while I'm working, you know, six, seven days a week. But on those three days I will get really good videos out. But this will just be a day in the life, how I work, so then you guys know what I'm doing while I'm working and while I'm not filming. Um, I've just done my fasted cardio, 20 minutes on the incline walk because I really want to build my calves and so incline walk really activates the calves more uh, and then 20 minutes on the stepper I'm back uh, now I'm just making my lunch and then I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we're good this is how I make my lunch Bang. First things first, just chop the veg and then the chicken. So we go half an onion, half a courgette, and we just finely dice it. You don't want to cut your fingers, do this technique. So you grab it like this and you just roll your knuckles so you can just slide down the knuckles. That way you keep your fingers, which is why I found out too many times is why I have this. All right, you can't see it, but I've got a broken nail. And then we have two chilies, just finger chilies. And then we have half a pack of asparagus. We just chopping all that. Even the chilies. And then wash my hands. So I can pick up the camera. And that's that. I'm gonna put this new stuff. One cow coconut oil uh, into the pan doing that as we speak um, so I just chop up all the vegetables I cook those vegetables first and then as I put the chicken in I put my garlic in because garlic cooks a lot quicker than all those vegetables so I put my chicken on I put it to zero and then I need 200 grams so I literally just take out this slab and you see it says my minus two three nine I'm just gonna cut off 39 grams off here and then dice it up and then we're done Because I only have like an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes when I get home. Actually, it's probably less than that. I only have an hour when I get home from um, doing cardio. I put that chicken in, which you've just seen. I've got already got my sweet potato in the oven, 300 grams, which I forgot to say. That's already chopped up, put it and do that first. And while that's cooking, I weigh out my breakfast and get ready with that. So without further ado, here's breakfast. my breakfast every morning. Yo, you can see by the mess I'm in a rush, so I'll see you at work. Peace. Yes, people, I bring my scales to work because you have to be on point all the time. Busy day today, so I didn't film much. A um, couple hours left of the shift, and then we're going to train. It's good, everybody. Finished work. Just got changed to my shorts. Um, the workout you're about to see, I do every three day. No, I have a three day split, so I go shoulders back, legs chest chest arms so today is chest and arms so I do this every three days um, 
I'll see you in the gym. What's good people? I'm back with another side by side. This is what I do to warm up my shoulders on chest day, back day and shoulder day. Just go forwards, backwards, uh, work the internal and external rotations just to put some blood into the just to put some blood into the shoulders this is like warming up the shoulders to prevent injury so you want to do this before chest days back days shoulder days just so you don't twinge anything don't pull any rotator cuffs or anything like that first exercise as you can see just straight bench press sets of eight five sets of eight on this one um, looked pretty easy but we worked up each set I think I got to 100 kilos this was just 90 so yeah we worked up nice and slowly uh, then we went to strict dumbbell hammer curls key points here elbows nice and close to your body and you just want to pull straight up with this long head of the bicep this is like the peak bicep so everything you do in a hammer curl or a wide grip is gonna hit this long head here everything with a close grip is gonna hit the inner head here uh, move on to straight tricep push downs because this was a chest and arm workout guys so this was just literally same thing as the biceps elbows in chest out back in push straight down and extend with each of the tricep heads uh, this was a superset which we moved straight into I think let me just watch this side by side yeah just straight into incline press uh, this was four sets of 12 reps and four sets of 10 reps respectively so four sets of 12 reps on the push downs four sets of 10 reps on the incline uh, you can see here I'm getting pumped very very quickly it's the pre-workout it's not the food um, but yeah nice and slow down really fast up slow concentric no slow eccentric fast concentric and that was it for that movement on to the next one which was strict to barbell curls again elbows in little dance there again elbows in pull straight up this was four sets of 12 as well uh, key points exactly the same you'll see me that my, my arms move forward a bit but it's kind of okay because it's cheat curls so I do still work the biceps because I have the mind muscle connection which is what you want to focus on with pulling with the biceps not coming forward with the with the delts just strict like this uh, move straight into flies I like to do Arnold's technique, hug a tree and expand and breathe right in as I come down to really pull my, my scapulas back and my shoulders back. I come up, hug the tree as they call it, so you keep the same motion and squeeze nice and tight where you're trying to contact, contract, which is the upper part of the chest for me in this movement. Uh, this was three sets of 10 and four sets of 10, I think. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was that. Uh, final superset slash no wasn't a superset it was dips four sets of 12 on dips to finish and that is it for the side by side Yes, boys and girls, chest and arms done. Um, I'm knackered, God. These workouts are getting harder and harder. Like, there's not a lot of volume, guys. Like, it probably doesn't look like that much when I'm doing it on on YouTube and when I'm editing these videos. But I'm literally giving everything into these workouts. God, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna have my banana. Hopefully, I'm gonna chill out and watch some Netflix. No, I'm not. I've got a meeting at 9.30 with a few friends about business. Um, so, I'm going to go home, have my banana, maybe watch Netflix after. Fingers crossed. And then we do it all again tomorrow. Uh, see you guys at home. Them feels when you run out of petrol. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of the fucking road and I can't really listen. 
fuck. This is gonna be a long night. All right, shout out to the mumsy. She's gonna save me, she's gone, she's got a can, and she's gonna go get me petrol, and she's gonna help me. She's feeling very ill, so thank you very much. When you watch this, mum, sorry. Mm. Ain't nothing better than a ripe banana. Description of what we're doing to another trademark lawyer. Meetings. So I called him today, I sent him the email today, and he told me. Yeah, I just made my dinner, I forgot to show you this amazing stuff. Yeah. Check this. Let me wipe the screen. Cauliflower rice. Fifty grams of rice, hundred grams of cauliflower rice, which is really nice by the way. Put pilaf seasoning in that. Two hundred twenty grams of beef. Loads of meat bed. That's me, guys. Long day. I'm so tired. Gonna go to sleep now. Wake up. Get a haircut. Tiny haircut. Just a little bit off. Shaved here. And then... Cardio. Home. Lunch. Back to the gym. Work. Pick up my girlfriend. Let's go. Guys, don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe, that shit. A. Sap.